but I want to talk to you just about your quick opinion right now of what went down with the election process with Chris Gatsby and Ian uh, to the last Whitaker Community Council. Well, well, for a long time, I didn't know what had happened. I had heard that um, Gatsby didn't get reelected and Ian had been reelected, and I, I didn't really understand the process. But after learning what happened, it seemed like uh, a bit of a coup and a bit of shady politicking, and people didn't really have the opportunity to uh, understand or participate because uh, it, it was really kind of all a surprise, it seems. And it turns out that's how politics work. It's really more about obfuscation than information. And uh, it's pretty typical. Well, I, I didn't know that the Whitaker was so politicized, yeah, but it's what uh, I expect from you know South Carolina. And if we're truly trying to do something democratic, we need to have the highest level of participation possible. When we're trying to exclude people, we become like the GOP in fucking Georgia. Is that who you want to be? Are we trying to exclude people? Are we trying to subvert people? Or are we trying to actually understand what the people want? And and knowing those motivation makes the action clear. Well, maybe it's not only subverting the people, but it's just getting the right people to vote. Well, that's the politics. Yeah. That's the politicking. When the wrong people vote, democracy happens. <laughs> yeah, all the like the freaks in the or the black hood. people in the south. Or the freaks Don't in let the hood. those fucking people vote, because then they're gonna tell you what they think. Well, let's see who else is at this table. This could be interesting. Let me rotate around. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this person. It's wrong. I'm not your fucking monkey, Tim. No, I'm just, the Whitaker is no, in no, I like that better. I ain't your fucking monkey, Tim. Season two. <laughs>